Hey, brothers and sisters, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nabi back again. And I was thinking about something as I was listening to the song Street Life, right? And I was looking at uh, the lead singer. And I was just thinking back. And the first thought in my mind was, man, this was a beautiful Afro woman. And then I said to myself, I really miss the beautiful Afro woman. And I was thinking it is sad to no degree that she exists anymore in great numbers in the United States. The American Afro woman has been done in by the BAW you know who. By the consolidated efforts of simps, the triple S crew, and the media. Because I was just thinking back and man, the desire that I had have for a woman that looks like this. Remember when you used to see them from the front? They presented themselves from the front. I was like, oh, wow, I miss this. Let me greet everybody real quick. For Borton Hardugu Dog, Olo Oite de Bang, Vasas Los, Bonje Mesami, Kedu, Bawani Kunichi, Wa, Niha Niha Ma, Sani Banani, Jambo Habaragani, Asalam Alaikum, and Shalom. All right. As I was going through, I'm going to take y'all back to what we, the Afro man, used to consider as beautiful. All right. I mean, this was the this was the woman that the Afro man was going after. We was going after all of them. All right. But this was a prize catch in the Afro community. Before Caucasians took over hip hop, and change the minds of the super simps being raised by the single B-A-W know-who. This was the desire of the Afro man. Oh, we had names for them all. Yellow bone, red bone, dark. Oh, we loved them all. But they were all natural. And when we say all natural, we're talking about the group and Totally, their bodies were all natural. They weren't marked up with tattoos and all the rest of that garbage. All right. They wore their own hair. As a matter of fact, they used to put their hair in fantastic design. So much so that a movie came out called Ten, and a bunch of um, Caucasians thought that some Caucasian came up with beads in their hair. <laughs> and we sitting around laughing at them, trying to let them know that, no, we've been, the, the, the daughters of the Afro people been running around with bees in there. Remember, they used to do their hair. They used to do their daughter's hair. They didn't throw other people's hair on top of their head. And now they're gone. Passed away. Only a remnant is left. And they're, they will soon be gone because they're selling themselves out to the system. It's a sad day to come to that kind of epiphany and realization. Let me remind y'all real quick. Let's get those thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. 
since I am going to continue to talk about Afro issues, and since we can now prove that YouTube and Facebook have used racism to classify Afro speech as hate speech, you best believe that they're not going to want to monetize any of my channels. As a matter of fact, the deal was, if you saw in the last video I did, YouTube said that if I would take down videos that talk about our issues and Dr. Francis Cress Welsing, and see, we don't even know what I can talk about. See, because they're kind of ambiguous. Because probably there's probably a law that they're violating telling me that I have to take down Afro stuff or stuff that apply to Afro people. So this channel, in its giving, can only remain afloat to give by way of people helping and donating to this channel. Because that's the only way we're going to get anything and get anything done. Period. YouTube understands that this channel takes everything we earn and put it back in the community. So that they, they understand that when they said, we are going to demonetize your whole channel for putting out historical evidence and putting out Dr. Francis West Kressling. Did I say Welsing? Cress Welsing. Sorry, I reversed that. And putting out the injustices done to Afro men when they're arrested in in their own on their own property by the police who run up on their property chasing somebody else for filming. All right, this is all against YouTube's monetization guidelines. Which means that they are saying that the commercials that you see on YouTube are against Afro men talking about the Afro community. So we need to pay attention to, we need to pay visits to those commercials that you see on um, their corporate offices and ask them where they really stand on Afro issues. But in the meantime, it's down to y'all helping by donating to not the channel. But as you see, Refuse Temple Nabi, this is how I do all that I do. So when I'm doing it with my own finances, I'm taking my retire part of my retirement, and, and this is how I use it. And this is how I get the balls to Brazil and all the rest of that stuff. So this is going to be left up to us. All right. In the meantime, we can now understand that our adversaries no longer look natural. Our adversaries that claim that the reason why we're going to the other women is because we don't like ourselves. <laughs> they misunderstand that we're going to the other communities because we love ourselves. But more important than that, we love the responsibility that we have to our potential offspring. We do not want people to carry our seeds that are going to despise us and use our seeds against them. And we want somebody that looks natural, like themselves, like how the Most High made them, not all tatted up, not fake implants all over the place, not wearing somebody else's hair on top of their head. Look but like the beautiful creature, creatures that the Most High created in the first place. And since we know we're not going to get that from the B.A.W., you know who, we'll just sit back and have this memorial for how the Afro women in America used to be. How this image, both holistically on, on, and on the surface, do not exist anymore in great numbers. Where they used to care about the Afro man, 
in greater numbers than they do now. All right. Many at the time was taking their natural beauty and diluting it, if you know what I mean. And that was okay because many more cared enough to want these traits to live on in their children. And now we don't have that anymore. I don't know what we got. I don't know what to call it. But I know what it isn't. It isn't the natural beauty when you used to see an Afro woman, you saw the beauty from the front. And that's what mattered. Not how much booty she had behind. And still, we have iconic figures coming up, embracing their natural selves. And with India, India Irene, her mistake was getting upset that the Grammys would not recognize her without realizing that the Grammys are not going to recognize somebody that wants to be natural. But her fan base loved her for being natural. Her fan base is contrary with the Grammys want Afro women to be. This was and is the last of a dying breed. One that embraces their natural beauty. It, some of the times it's just a matter of time when as to how long the system is going to is going to take the system to finally get to them especially when they're not when they are without strong men in their lives fortunately india Irie has a strong man in her life that hopefully will remind her that her natural self is beautiful you don't see her all marked up Man, how it is that we do wish that we had something like this. These days are kind of gone. These days are kind of gone. Where the natural Afro woman loved the Afro man that was strong. Even the, when they are trying to do this natural thing, it's not for us. It's for the thugs. It's for the other nations. They want to throw it away. Yes. It's hard to find. And this is in, memor in memory of the old school, beautiful Afro woman that we just stand back, look up, and reminisce of what used to be. Like, wow, don't I miss this? When you saw them, they were sexy from the front. All right? And you was like, yeah. And not only did the stars look like this, but the girls from around the way had it going on. Now most of them most of the ones that look natural are out there on them drugs. They're out there on that other mentality. They're out there seeking to be worshipped while not giving honor to the good. As a matter of fact, your most intense battle is from them against the good Afro man, whereby they use the same oppressive system to come against the men 
that are trying to improve the conditions of the community. But you can't do it because the visit, biggest adversary you have now are the ones that put this image in the mortuary. And now it does no longer exist. All right. Used to be in shape, maintained their shape until old age. Very few of these women got big when they were old. They maintained it. They were able to maintain a lot. But chasing after what the oppressive society wanted to give them in order to put the Afro community down under, they now pay that price against the wall. As this image of the Afro woman disappears into perpetuity. Yep, this is a memorial service. To the beautiful Afro woman that we love, but the new breed of B-A-W, you know who's did away with them. You will be deeply missed by many people, but especially by the Afro man. who wishes you would exist. But understand that you're probably never going to come back. Instead, we got this. And so because this is all that's left and this is all they have to offer, yeah, we jetting. We're heading to the Middle East. We're heading down south. We're heading anywhere else but here. Because along with this look, all we got left is a bad attitude, deep resentment, and a bunch of fakery. And the only way you're going to get this look is on Instagram and in magazines. Because when you look in real life, you have nothing close to this in the majority. While unicorns exist, while rubies exist, while some of this is, exists in real life, it does not. All right? And when you find it, it's not clean. It's all dirtied up with club, thugs, and drugs. And we don't have no time for it. And you know what eventually happens to this? It goes. It goes away, it hits the wall, and by the time this thing gets ready to hit the wall, it ain't nothing that's going to be missed. The wall is always merciless, and it's when you find out that most of this stuff is fake. Yep, it's time for the brothers to escape, because the Afro woman has been put out to pasture. And we got the B-A-W know-who in its place. And as we know, some of us all too well, the fruit ain't worth the squeeze, as Brother Dwight would say. With that said, I'm out. <laughs>